welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for checking out the video and I would love it if you would think about subscribing to my channel. And if you are a subscriber, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. So today I wanna to share with you how we find cheap groceries without going crazy. I love grocery shopping for the most part when I have time for it, but the frugal person in me, it makes grocery shopping stressful. I want to eat healthy and get the healthiest foods for me and my family, but I also want to find the cheapest foods and groceries. And I feel like I should be running around to five or six different grocery stores and hitting all the sales and getting everything, but that's just not realistic and it's too stressful for me. We are all so busy, so running around two different stores to, get all, to hit all the sale prices can be very hard and very time consuming. Even taking the time, the simple task of clipping coupons, taking the time to do that can be difficult and very overwhelming because there are so many places to get coupons. So my grocery go goal, grocery goal over the past six months or so has been to figure out how to grocery shop in the shortest amount of time because hello, working mom, um, don't have a lot of time. So grocery shopping in the shortest amount of time while saving the most money. So over the past six months and doing after doing my research, in my particular area, I have found that Aldi and Walmart tend to be the cheapest grocery stores around. Of course, other grocery stores will run actual sale and some sale items may be a little bit cheaper than Aldi or Walmart in general. And you know, it's just occasional, but in general, those stores tend to be the cheapest overall. So you might have to do a little bit of research with the stores in your area. Um, you know, the lucky part is a lot of stores have prices online that you can check out. So um, don't be afraid to utilize online tools and um, you might have to hit a couple stores and just price match some of the items that you get a lot, but that's kind of what I did. It may be a lot of work, but it definitely make it, it, it will make it easier in the long run. And so I did do all that price matching and now it's easy for me. So what I, I will do is I'll go to Aldi first and get everything that I can get there and everything that I like. Aldi is not a grocery store that you can just get every grocery item. So I go there first and hit all of the things that I wanna get and all of the things that I like. And then after that, I head on to Walmart and get the rest of my grocery items. And so um, just hitting Aldi pretty quickly, like 15 or so, 20 minutes, and then heading on to Walmart and getting my shopping done. With this system of hitting Aldi and Walmart, I feel like I can relax a little bit and not stress out knowing that um, going to Aldi and Walmart, I'm getting most of what I need for the cheapest price um, over the, the a period of time, like a year. Probably getting the cheapest grocery bill by going to those two stores. I do, or we do, we also do hit Costco maybe once a month, maybe every month and a half. Um, so we do get some things there and buy some things in bulk, but not everything. And of course, we also hit other grocery stores. Um, we have a Meyer, if you have that near you, or a Kroger, close to our work. So my husband and I, where we work, so sometimes we will hit that if we just need something small. But in general, it's Aldi, Walmart, Costco, and that's it. A couple other things that I do to save money um, that there again, won't be taking up too much of my time. Um, by going to Walmart, they have a savings catcher app that all you literally have to do is scan your receipt and then it price matches the items you got with other stores. And if there is a better price at a different store, it gives you the difference. So I honestly don't know how well it works, but the thing is, is it doesn't matter because I'm gonna be shopping at Walmart regardless. So it price matches it. And it's not uncommon to find, you know, maybe a five, 10, even like, 50 cents difference in an item. And the thing is, it's it's just a win-win for me. Um, one time I even got a four, I remember I did a big grocery trip before my daughter's birthday and I got $4 back, which was awesome. I also use the Ibotta app, which um, I kept hearing about and I'm like, mm, too much work, didn't wanna do, put it off. And then I finally tried it and it truly is easy. So all you have to do is you, you kind of clip coupons, you, you go through, you find the items that you would buy 
regularly that you would normally buy and then you buy them and you scan your receipt and the barcode on the actual item and I think I've earned almost a hundred dollars total in my lifetime earnings and then you can get that in gift cards or cash send it to your bank so those are two I think easy ways and you know I don't rely on that money for anything but it's just an easy way to to gain money for things you're already buying so that's why I like it. I'd be buying these items anyways I also have a few general rules that I follow when I go grocery shopping, mainly at Aldi and Walmart, but sometimes at other grocery stores. And these rules, I think, help me set my goals to um, eat healthy, but also save money. So number one, I like to plan out my meals and snacks for the week. So I sit down, I have a little um, a paper that I got offline and it lists all the days of the week and it has each meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two snacks. So I just sit down on Sunday or Monday morning and plan out all of my meals for that week and then it has a list for your grocery list. Um, so make your meal plan, have a grocery list, and stick to it. If you guys want me to make a video about how I meal plan and plan all of that out, um, I can do that just let me know. Um, meal planning and planning out my week has completely changed my grocery shopping experience. It's not as dreadful. I just go to my list and stick with it. So it's pretty nice. It also allows me not to randomly buy things. So it makes grocery shopping quicker and I get just the healthy things and I'm not picking up the random things that just look good to me. Number two, don't be afraid to try generic brands. Um, you know, you might not always like the generic brand, but give it a try because you may be surprised. I'll admit, um, I do try a lot of generic brands and there are times where I will t try a generic brand and I don't like it, so I don't get it. Like for example, we really like tortilla chips and we like the Tostito brand. And um, I've tried other brands and it just doesn't compare personally for me and my husband. So we always get Tostito and that's okay. But I would say most other things I don't have a problem going generic with. So definitely try generic. Number three, buy frozen produce, fruit and vegetables. Um, I used to always get fresh because I, I don't know, I just always got fresh. And then um, I started buying more frozen with my daughter and it was just so easier because things didn't go bad and I didn't feel like, oh my gosh, I have to hurry up and eat all these strawberries or blueberries or um, broccoli up. like in enough time before it went bad. If I buy it frozen, it's always there. It's always good to whip out if I'm not sure what I'm gonna make for my daughter or for my husband or I. It's just easy to grab and I find that it's usually cheaper as well. So it's a win-win all around. So try to buy frozen. Number four, see if you have a farmer's market in your city or surrounding city. Um, the city we live in does have a farmer's market and we try to go there and check everything out. So it's kind of a win-win because you're buying local and those um, items you are usually a little bit cheaper than at your local grocery store and they usually won't use as much um, pesticides and you know it's kind of a better way to, to potentially go organic and it'll be a little bit cheaper so see if you have a farmers market close to you and number five don't be store loyal um, I'll admit I, this used to be my issue um, I used to just go to the another grocery store. Um, I used to just go because it's what I was comfortable with. And believe me, I am queen of, if I'm comfortable with something, I stick with it. And that's totally fine. But if you wanna save money and try to eat healthier and you know have your grocery bill go down, try not to be necessarily store loyal. Try other stores and see what you like. Um, that was kind of my issue with Aldi. I had heard so many great things about Aldi, but I was like, Oh, I just, I don't know. I'd never been in one and I heard, you know, you had to put a quarter in for a cart and you had to bring your own bags. And I was like, what? Like, I don't know. Like it was just, it was fear of the unknown. I know that sounds really stupid because those are very little issues or things. Um, but it was just like, uh, so I just pushed it off for so many years. And then finally I went and I loved it. Love Aldi. Um, so just don't be store loyal. Try a couple different stores in your area and um, see what you like. I just gave you my tips for cheap grocery shopping. And like I said, um, I'm not gonna sit here and say that this is the, I'm gonna show you the cheapest food and I got the best prices ever, but because that's, that's not how I grocery shop. I don't wanna stress about all of that. I'm just trying to, like I said, get my grocery shopping done in the shortest amount of time and not stress over it. So. Um, 
yeah, that's how we do it right now. So now what I'm gonna do is show you a shopping trip that I went on recently. Um, I went to Aldi first and then I went to Walmart. So this is kind of my typical uh, grocery system. So I'm gonna take you guys along to those stores and then show you what I got after. So let's do it. I am on my first grocery stop of the day. I am going to go into Aldi. So I'm inviting you guys to come along with me. So here we go. to my next stop. I am currently at Walmart. This will be where a bulk of my grocery shopping will be at. Aldi was a quick little trip in out in like 15 minutes. Um, Walmart should be a lot longer. Um, I should be getting a lot more stuff. And a lot of people don't like Walmart. I have a lot of friends who don't love it, but I really don't mind it, especially depending on the time of day that I go. It's not that bad. Um, Right now it's later in, on in the afternoon, kind of before five o'clock hits. So I don't think it'll be that bad and I really don't mind it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get going. Okay, I don't need any clothes for my daughter, but how cute is that shirt for the fourth? or Memorial Day weekend, absolutely adorable. She already has some, so I don't need it, but it's super cute. I was passing through some of these clothes, um, and I do will say, I just wanna tell you that this Gram Granimals brand, I really do love. Um, I already got my daughter some of these cute um, pants, printed pants, and then similar shorts for the summer. They also had all of these cute printed shorts for $2.88. Adorable and some matching shirts if you want, but super cute. Hey guys, I am home and I have all of my food from my Aldi. Mommy. Yes, honey. Uh, Obviously you can tell that was my daughter. Um, I am home from my little shopping trips and I just wanted to show you everything I had and some of the price comparison that I did and what I do when I go to the different stores. So I will show you what I got at Aldi and Walmart. Okay, we will get started with these. Um, these are just the Aldi brand of Fiber One Bars. My husband really likes them for his breakfast so I always stock up on those and then I got some organic black beans I love beans in general so I wanted to stock up on these and they were 85 cents a can so I thought that was pretty decent for organic so I got that and when I was at Walmart I wanted to check the price and Walmart's organic black beans were 92 cents so not a huge difference but enough of a savings at Aldi and then I get these for my daughter. They are the apple multi-fruit fruit pouches. These are great just for quick little snacks or I don't know. She just loves them. So um, I get these here and um, four come in a pack. And when I compared them to Meyer, it was just a little bit of a savings, like 10 cents. But still, um, no high fruit torse corn syrup and made with real fruit. So I like those. You can see we already dipped into these thin wheat crackers that are like, no, uh, these are like Triscuits. So I get those. And then I also get um, these. These are like wheat thins. And there was a pretty significant savings here compared to Walmart. It was, these were each 208 a box. And at Walmart, they're, no, I'm sorry. They were 208 at Walmart a piece. And at Aldi, they were $1.69. And $1.29 so really good savings on both of those boxes and we both my husband and I love crackers and so does my daughter so I love those I got some cheese sticks 
this was a good savings. Um, those are mainly for my daughter and my husband. I got those for, let's see, at Walmart they were $3.76 and I got these for $2.69. And then some cheese. Um, I'm making something for the upcoming weekend and I have a recipe I'm making for Memorial Day weekend. And then just some shredded cheese to keep around for tacos and stuff. And this was, I think at Walmart they were $3.12 a piece. And at Aldi it was $2.69. So good good little savings. And then let's see. Oh, here's some frozen frozen produce that I like to get. Honestly, we always get frozen produce. It's a lot cheaper. These bags, let's see, we're talking 12 ounces for a mix there and then strawberries here. And they were 209 for a bag. So, um, you know, they're great for smoothies. They don't go bad. So I can just pop, you know, pop them out of the freezer. Sometimes I'll put them in the microwave for a few seconds just to defrost a little bit. And my daughter honestly loves them. And the strawberries I love from Aldi are, they stay intact. Um, they're really intact. So they're, I don't know how to explain that, but they're good for eating. They don't get all mushy, even though they are frozen. Hamburger buns for... Our cookout this weekend saved a few cents um, compared to Walmart. Not much, but um, some buns. And then I love peanuts. I always snack on peanuts. And these were a little bit cheaper at Aldi as well. So I picked those up. And I think that's it for my little Wal or Aldi haul. They had a lot of other things that I just didn't need at this time that I do want to try. So next time I go back, I might have to try some different items. Okay, so now I will continue and show you what I got at Walmart. So I got some man mandarin oranges for my daughter and some peaches. I did see some at Aldi that I almost got, but I really look at the sugar content in these little fruit cups and it can be crazy how much fruit or sugar is in the little fruit cups. I think at Aldi it was like 20 grams of sugar and she doesn't need that. So I get these from Walmart, no sugar added, and they only have five grams so like those and this is also mandarin oranges yep five grams of sugar so a lot, e lot better as far as sugar we get frozen organic butternut squash this was like two dollars these are for my daughter sweet potato organic for my daughter i think these were also around two dollars little cubes that she can eat so they're great i already dug into these because we are um, getting dinner started. Veggie tots, broccoli, and cheese for my daughter. She doesn't love these, but she does like them. So another way to get in her veggies, because she can be picky when it comes to veggies. I've talked about these organic snack bars. Now, I always get these from Walmart. I've price compared them in other stores, and they're always cheaper at Walmart. Um, like a Kroger, which is a local grocery store we have here, it's like $3.69. And then at Target, I don't remember what they are, but they're pricey. And then compared to Walmart, they are $2.88 for eight bars. So I love that they're organic. And like I said, eight bars for $2.88 I think is an awesome price. I got these because I had an uh, Ibotta for it. So I just thought I would try these. Um, they were kind of pricey. I don't remember exactly the price, but just not something that I would want to get all the time. Because you don't get a ton of the chicken meatballs in there, but enough that I thought it would be a good idea to keep on hand for quick meals. Yogurt is a, Greek yogurt is a staple in this house. You know I love my Chobani plain Greek yogurt, so got that. This is my other Greek yogurt that I like. I like it because it has a really good protein sugar ratio um, and calories. And I use, I give this to my daughter. I don't give her a ton since there's so much protein in it. But I, you know, when you look at other sugar, or yogurts, it's just crazy how much sugar can be in that. So I like how there's only eight grams of sugar in this. So good for me, good for her, good for everybody. And then mm, talking about not wanting sugar, but yet I get my Oreos. Have to have these, but got those. Got some apples. These are a staple for my lunches. An orange for a recipe I'm making again this weekend. Avocados are also a weekly buy with us. And let's see, 
yeah, love avocados, love it so many ways. So got those, and I know that they're always pretty cheap at Walmart. They do have them sometimes at Aldi, but I find that the quality isn't as as oh, great um, as Walmart, so I just get those at Walmart. Then paper towels, boring, but I have price match a couple different stores, and I find that Walmart has the cheapest for paper towels. Not for toilet paper. Toilet paper, I find Target has a little bit of a better price, but it needs some paper towels, some Lodo Aspirin, Equate. You know, anytime you can go generic, do it. Obviously, Aspirin's not going to matter. Um, chapstick, dry shampoo. This is my absolute favorite shampoo and it is cheaper at Walmart than it is at Target, Ulta, online. So I always get it at Walmart. Got this for my daughter. She needed some toothpaste, not the cheapest, but she, you know, she kind of still swallows some of her toothpaste. So I felt like I wanted her to have something a little natural. So I got that. Some alcohol, rubbing alcohol for my DIY cleaners. Bless you. Um, St. Ives lotion. I use this on a daily basis after my shower and it is the cheapest at Walmart. I price matched that. So got that there. Some cotton swabs again, just the Target or Walmart brand and then some Q-tips for my daughter. Some green whole green beans. Um, this is a brand. I don't know if they have any other stores, but I get it at Walmart and I think it's around two dollars or so for a big bag. I really like these. I have no idea where I was. I think I was pretty much finishing up, but we were potty training my daughter and she told me when I was in the middle of filming that, that she needed to pee. So I had to drop everything, I had to rush her to the bathroom so she could pee. So oh, fun, but crazy. That's for sure. But um, yeah, that's pretty much everything I got. I was very happy you know, with the savings that I had, I didn't think the bills were too much. And that's kind of my weekly or bi-weekly grocery runs. I do, will go, uh, we do go to Costco in there. Um, but for the most part, that's how we shop. That's how I save. And yeah. So thanks guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video so I can make more like it. And I will see you guys next time.